what is up guys this is Tino back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X-ROM on this device. This is the 27th May 2020 build as you can see from here and the build maintainer's name is Vishnu. Here you can see the kernel version which is Hydra Plus and th this is the stock kernel by the way. The Evolution X version is 4.3 undisputed and the Android version is 10 of course and this is on Violet or Redmi Note 7 Pro. On top over here we have the Evolution X logo. Now let me go back and show you the system panel over here. In the like updater section we do have a system updater over here as you can see and you can check for updates. Whenever there is a new update you can use this updater like to flash the ROM or you can just manually flash it. But talking about flashing the ROM let me tell you that I was on the Oxygen OS ROM and from that I had to format data to come to this ROM. So from that Oxygen OS I wiped cache. Dalvik system data and vendor and flash the latest 11.0.8 firmware which is a Indian Redmi Note 7 Pro firmware and then flash the ROM file and I rebooted. It did not boot into the system, it booted me back to the recovery. So I had to format and after that I, my storage got like encrypted and my, right now my recovery does ask for password. And I have used Orange Fox recovery by the way, the latest Orange Fox recovery and now I am encrypted. Now let me go back and here. You can see we have the gesture settings and also over here we have the touch screen gestures and haptic feedback while going back and stuff. It does give a little bit of haptic feedback here and there and in the system gestures we have the gesture navigation. If you go into the settings you can like increase this gesture bar size as I did. That is the reason why this gesture fill bar is like pretty long right now over here. You can also go like customize more things like enable to show gesture nav bar and stuff. Now let me quickly go back and show you what's the stock camera. The stock camera right now is the Google camera 7 as you can see and the night sight with this Google camera 7 should be working pretty fine. Taking pictures should be pretty good. Let me quickly take a picture. So here I'll show you the sample like for the picture and I would say the camera and stuff is working fine with this Google camera as you can see it does open the front camera. The front camera is working totally fine, no issues. But the MIUI camera is simply missing as the stock camera from this ROM. So if you want to flash the latest MIUI camera you have to use the ANX camera version 182 or something. But on that the portrait mode will not work I guess. So be careful about that whenever you are flashing the latest ANX camera on the Redmi Note 7 Pro right now. Because that's a MIUI 12 port that is the reason why only the portrait mode is not working. Videos and stuff should be working with the ANX camera if you install that. And by the way to install the ANX camera you just need to flash the zip with Magisk or with uh, Orange Fox Recovery if you do not have Magisk. Now let me talk about some more things. I have tested this like IR blaster present on the device with the LED RGB remote app and that is working totally fine. That is not a problem. IR blaster works super fine here. And as this is an Indian Redmi Note 7 Pro here as you can see the DRM info shows as level 1. So you do not need to worry about the uh, Netflix or Amazon Prime video streaming. And if you are worried about using banking apps on this ROM as you can see safety net test passes. So you can use Google Pay or any other banking apps with ease on this ROM you do not need to worry. Now talking about the stock launcher again we have the pixel launcher by default of course as usual and to the left we get the Google's discover page. You can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel. If you swipe up you get the app drawer. So that's pretty simplistic. This wallpaper you are noticing over here this is the wallpaper which I have been using and there are a lot more wallpapers as you can see. You can just use any of them if you want. And you can also use the live wallpapers like in this come alive section you can see there are a lot of live wallpapers and let me go back if you go into the living universe as you can see these wallpapers do look amazing and you can definitely use these wallpapers but you have to download these wallpapers from here. Now talking about the quick settings panel here as you can see I have added some more toggles like the heads up and screen recorder but the FPS info toggle is just missing as of right now. But let me show you which screen recorder is this. So yeah, this looks like the Oxygen OS screen recorder and this should be working fine. You have the option to change the resolutions and bitrate and the number of frames from here. As you can see, you can shoot up to 60 FPS. I mean, you can record up to 60 FPS. Let me show you the audio source. You can use the internal audio source or the microphone source. So you can choose that. Now let me just quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed over here. As you can see the fingerprint scanner speed in my opinion is not bad. It is pretty good actually. Now let me try with the right hand's index finger.
as you can see the fingerprint scanner is fast enough i do not have any issues using the fingerprint scanner it is pretty reliable and here in the battery settings this is how it looks like we have the battery percentage on the bottom then we have the smart charging and the battery saver mode and you can see the full battery usage from here it does support 18 watt fast charging so you should not worry about that and in terms of battery life we can definitely get like six to seven hours of screen on time easily even with heavy usage on this rom now let me go into the display settings this is how it looks like we have the lock screen display on top and here we have the always on when charging and stuff of course always on display is not there like all the time because this is a ips display you don't really need that in the dark theme we have the schedule option for the dark theme i have been using it with the dark theme it has been working fine and styles and wallpaper section is there again and the hide notch section is there if you want to hide the notch from top of course double tap to wake is there now let me show you if i double tap when the screen is locked as you can see the double tap to wake does work fine and it does not have that bug anymore where like it shows a uh, like quarter of the wallpaper for a moment in the lock screen so as you can see it does not show like that the animations is smooth now let me go back to the sounds and here if you scroll down we do have the mi audio direct and from here if you choose the youth edition your headphone jack sound output should be pretty great and the sound output via the headphone jack over here and bluetooth as well is pretty good no issues whatsoever and also in the sounds we have the vibration and haptics here we have the in call haptics touch vibration vibrate for calls and you can change the ringtone vibration pattern from here like this charging sound charging vibration touch sounds etc you can disable them and there is also this ring notification alarm and voice and if you want these ring notification alarm and voice volumes to appear in the audio panel or the volume panel you can use that as you can see it does appear over here and you also have the live caption mode over here if you want that now let me talk about the face unlock over here i have not set up the face unlock i will do that right now but here in the security as you can see this google play system update shows red kind of now let me quickly set up the face unlock so it's done pretty quick now let me try the face unlock and as you can see it unlocks let's try it again now i'll move the phone towards this direction and double tap now i'll move it to my face and as you can see it unlocks so the face unlock speed is super fast you should not worry about the face unlock in this rom in the evolver section of course we do have all the customizations of evolution x and there are plenty of customizations you should not worry about them here as you can see on top we have the about section which has been moved to the top it was like on the bottom earlier and in the theme section here in the accent colors we have plethora of like options and here from these accent color presets you can choose any of them we even have the show me option there or you can like customize the accent color from here as you can see from this 16 million colors i guess or more than that and here we have the body font section a lot of fonts are there for the system body fonts icon shapes are there so that's pretty cool status bar icons you can change them and header image option is there panel opacity etc and blur option is there for the like quick setting header now let's go to the status bar section we have the clock option and here we have the clock style am pm style and these are like status bar clock kind of customization and here we have the network traffic indicator if you want to use that then inside status bar icons we have the headset bluetooth etc icons over here now let me go back we have the battery style and you can choose between these dotted filled circle or text hidden circle big circle etc options are there from this battery percentage section you can have the like battery percentage next to the icon too if you want that and we have the 4g or volti icons over here you can choose between these many volti icons of course now let me go back to the notifications here we have the heads up disabling option then we have the edge lighting option or this pulse option you can change the color for this notification pulse from here they do look cool and here we have the kill app button notification vibration etc blink flashlight for incoming call option is there and blink for call waiting is there too in the quick settings panel we have the disable quick setting when locked and stuff quick pull down and smart pull down both are there you can set the quick pull down to always so that's cool brightness slider is there brightness icon is there quick setting column and row number customizations are there so that's pretty much it and we have the quick setting footer text settings icon etc edit icon is there too if you want that now let me go back to the power menu here we have the advanced reboot you can definitely reboot to like the recovery from here or even fast boot so this option comes pretty handy and here in the gestures we have a lot of gestures and swipe to take screenshot is there on top and let me show you 
as you can see this is the asus kind of screenshot so you can take a long screenshot or you can edit them from here here we have the brightness control feature so sliding a finger on the status bar does like control the brightness as you are noticing so yeah this feature is really really helpful for me at least the screen of power button torch is there then status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep option are there and in the lock screen there is a new feature which is this charging info it wasn't there earlier so the charging info does appear on the lock screen whenever you are charging the device and that looks cool i would say and here we have status bar and date widget or clock widget is there some people did ask me about this like lock screen clock and i haven't changed it here but i have changed that on my k20 pro so some people asked me where i change it from so you have to go to this lock screen section in the evolution x settings or customization settings and from here this clock widget you go and like set these to like whatever you want let me show you if you set this to default accent hours or something and then you change it to okay so i have changed it to one plus now if i do this and show you the lock screen as you can see the clock has changed and it looks pretty cool and there is also this charging animation which is the small animation appears like over here on the lock screen so yeah this looks cool and owner's info you can add it if you want to date widget and stuff you can customize it again and the lock screen music cover art and stuff you can use that if you want to then we have the navigation option here we have the navigation bar enabling option and of course invert layout is there if you are using two or three button navigation now let me go back to the like animations here we have the whole screen animation or the whole ui animation i mean and here if you set it to crt as you can see this is how the like lock screen animation looks like and it does look pretty cool i would say and you can change the quick setting animation title and stuff then we have the whole ui animation again you can change the wallpaper animation then activity open up animation etc in the misc settings we have some features like smart pixel is there and you can use that gaming mode is there if you want that and then wake up on charge you can disable it then the charging animation is there too whenever you are plugging in your phone it appears like a circular stock and what kind of charging animation looks pretty cool and then ambient display brightness you can control that if you want to usb configuration is there so if you set it to file transfer whenever you connect the usb cable to your pc in your pc it will open the file manager of the phone storage or something and here we have the time and state those settings and enable scaling so these are all the customizations we have over here the ui is pretty smooth the evolution x is a rom which i daily drive with on my redmi k20 pro and even on the redmi note 7 pro it's like pretty legit i would say and you can definitely daily drive with this rom if you like custom roms of course i would say this could be a really good daily driver gaming performance should be pretty good and here is the geekbench score of this rom and true does crash on the like redmi note 7 pro i don't know why might be a device specific bug so yeah but the whole ui is buttery smooth i do not face any issues while daily driving with this rom and i'll definitely recommend you using the latest evolution x rom on your redmi note 7 pro thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kdn tech signing off for today i'll catch you guys in the next one bye now